What's going on guys, Irvin John here again, and I wanted to touch on um, something that we all hate. It doesn't matter what level we're at, we all hate injuries. Uh, I recently got a question um, regarding an injury. Uh, I'm not gonna read the whole thing because it's pretty long, but uh, basically the guy, he's talking about, uh, he feels pain, pain in his joints when he's attempting to bench press or perform other exercises. Now, what is the cause? There are various reasons that uh, can lead up to injury. The most popular being pushing our limits too far before our bodies are ready. Uh, it's a natural thing. We want to get in the gym or get into the park, whatever we're doing, and we want to go hard, 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 hard all the time. Now, there, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with wanting to go hard. We want to push our bodies, we want to challenge ourselves. But pushing too hard before our time will be counterproductive. We're gonna get injured, we're gonna have to do regret, we're gonna have to regress, we're gonna have to uh, take down the intensity, and now you're not focusing on what you wanna focus on, which is getting stronger, getting better, uh, building a physique and whatnot. So, uh, to go and answer his question now regarding his injury, this is what I would, my advice to you would be. Take it easy, bring it back, go back to the beginning, do the basics, and build up. If you're, if you're attempting to um, push too much on the injury, you're gonna only continue to injure yourself. It's not gonna get better. You're not gonna say, you know, I'm gonna be a man, I'm gonna push through it. That's not the, the, the way it works. You're gonna end up doing more harm than good. Other things that do come into account, let's say you've been training hard for a long time, metabolic waste starts to build up, you know, in the joints and whatnot. When you rest, that's when you start to feel pain and, and ache, ache, aching in, within your joints. That is another, uh, um, another reason for um, joint pain. You know, you feel uh, uh, pain, pain in the joints. That is another reason that you might be feeling that uh, build of, of metabolic waste. Now that's why it's important to every now and then take it, take it down on the intensity. Uh, what I like to do about every five weeks, depending on the intensity of my regular routine, I will take a week about a week, a couple of days, uh, and, and cut back on the intensity, whether it be the volume, resistance, but I cut it down. I bring it down maybe about 40% of what I would usually do. So I'm staying active, I'm still doing something, but, not, but giving my body time to repair and to rebuild. And here's the thing, your body is not getting stronger when you're working it out. That's just a stimulus, you know, to, to create muscle damage and whatnot, but the actual repair takes place when you're resting. You know, pro proper nutrition, proper resting, and and I'm not going to emphasize too much about the the nutrition and whatnot. Just eat healthy. You know, you know what junk food is. You know what healthy food is. I I don't think I have to break it down that much for you. Oreos, donuts, all that stuff. Those are not healthy foods. You know, they're very calorie dense, but not nutrient dense. If you're working out already, you know, you've been working out for a while. You know this stuff. This is not uh, for you. You know, but. For those who are getting started, you're trying to cut down on some body fat, you're trying to build strength, eat healthy. Eat foods that are high in nutrient density. You know, greens, nuts, seeds, all that good stuff. Uh, lean meats, you know, if you eat lean meats, those are the type of meats, not deep fried chicken, all that stuff. People, oh, I, eat, I eat my chicken, uh, what kind of chicken? Well, I go to Popeyes and, no, that's not the type of chicken that, especially if you're not working out to begin with. People think, oh, cheat meals. Um, I see this bodybuilder doing it, I see this physique um, competitor doing it. That's them, not you. They've been doing this, you're a beginner. You can't say, oh, well, this is what I saw them doing on, on social media, I'm gonna do it too. And then you're gonna come and ask, oh, why is it not working? Now, let me get back to the point of this, which is the injury. So, during this injury period, you're gonna wanna ensure, if you get to the point where there's inflammation in the area, don't, inflammation is not a bad thing. That, that shows that, you know, there's blood, um, circulating in that area and whatnot, but if it if, if it's over swelling, you know, painful and all that, it's probably a good idea to go check a doctor and see if there's a, a underlying problem, something deeper than you know what I'm saying here. But if that's not the case, you know, just ice, ice, um, uh, ice and heat, you know, doing the that transfer in between that, uh, soak it, put you know Epsom salt and whatnot things like that, massage, keep it elevated, whatever body part it is, and just rest. Don't try and go and work around the, the, the problem because you're only gonna make it worse. 
uh, me myself, I sometimes I try to try to convince myself and say, man, I've been doing it for so long. If I get an injury, I could work through it. And nope, it proves me wrong time and time again. There's really no way around it. Take your time, take a rest. You know, uh, proper nutrition. Do the stretching that you need to do, and take it easy. Once you get back in, once the injury is, you know, feels to to, to be healed back. Don't go and try and do the same thing that got you injured in the first place. Start with the basics. You go, you do, if you're you know, doing a curl, for example, do the basic. Don't try and go and pick up a 100 pound dumbbell and try and curl it. No, you had, that's only gonna, gonna make it worse, like I keep stating. So take your time, um, regress, do the proper form. Always the proper form. Chances are, if you got the injury to begin with, you were not doing the proper form and you were lifting too heavy, pushing too heavy, putting too much volume, too much pressure, too much resistance that your body is not ready to handle yet. So proper form, always, always exaggerate the form when you're beginning, especially you wanna make sure you're getting that down packed before anything else. Don't try and do anything spectacular and do an ego lift or sort of show off with a planche push-up if you can't even do a simple push-up or can't even bench you know the bar so just keep that in mind don't overwork yourself take rest take time focus on form and you know keep getting strong guys i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching